Hello there, welcome back to France and what used to be better than Napoleon. Currently we're just hunting some of the small achievements while uh, basically waiting for the game to end. I've decided to play around a little bit with the Holy Roman Empire and mess around and that is currently why we are at war with, uh, well, Austria and basically a ton of other things. Uh, the reason why we're finding them is very straightforward and simple. Uh, I'm planning to... Uh, vassalize three of the electors in this little battle so or war which is going to be hilariously interesting and if i actually manage to become the de facto ruler of the whole roman empire i'm going to laugh at that a lot but uh, we did wipe the uh, burgundian army right now which is funny to watch but anyways uh for now i'm a little bit curious about what's going to happen in terms of in terms of troop movements, because uh, there are a lot of soldiers just running around here not knowing what they're doing. And I think this is a good example of it. There's an army currently stationed in Salzburg, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually know what it wants to do. Oh, we got a lot of negative modifiers here, three points of it, and they have a 3-3 general versus my 1-3. So they had a better general, I had better allies. So no concern there. But anyways, uh, we're just slowly but surely going to hopefully win this war, that's the plan. And of course Austria is the Holy Roman Emperor, but he's a very bad Holy Roman Emperor. So we do of course have to fix that. But anyways, for the time being we'll just continue slowly but surely making our way in. If there's any very big battles I'll show you, but uh, again I don't expect anything like that at the current uh, current time. And also I was very very surprised about the coring costs of the three promises I took from uh, from, uh, well, my friend, Bohemia. It was very much not expected. And, well, you can just imagine how awkward it became when I realized that these three problems are going to cost me more than me in Moscow and that entire lot did. So it's going to be interesting to see what we do from here. But I am planning on destroying this Austrian army. And I have a Polish army here to help me out. I have... Well, two of my three 24,000 men originally soldiers to tell me how to. Uh, we got a minus two modifier from terrain, but other than that, we should be winning this one. Won the battle at least. And currently, I'm just slowly but surely making my way through the uh, through the lands here. I'm pretty sure I can piece out Burgundy pretty soon. Yeah, one more siege and they're out, basically. It's the triple or three strikes, you're out, lol. Uh, but anyways, uh, as I said, this will just continue now as more or less hunt those smaller achievements that I haven't gotten yet. So if you expect something else, uh, prepare to be disappointed. But as I said, I would like some suggestions on what achievements I'll do. I'll be popping out a lot more videos at, than usual, as you've seen last couple of time or last week or so. You have gotten three videos a day, and I'm planning to continue that because I feel like it'll help me out in the long run. I will be able to get the achievements done quicker, I'll be able to do more achievements, and I'll be able to get more into this game. I think I made a mistake in trying to play a lot of different games. It ended up, I have a ton of footage basically on my hard drives that I've never used because I couldn't make it work. So I might do something in the future, but for now I'll focus on U4, get a little bit of a backlog of U4 videos. Sorry, not really a backlog. Just get something recorded that I have for two or three weeks, just preparing videos that I have them for two or three weeks to come and potentially streaming some of the recording sessions if possible to get some input on, uh, on what people would like to to do so let me know what you think of my ideas now in terms of how i'm going to continue this um, this channel adventure if i want to backlog and still have the possibility of uh, having people come with suggestions to what i should do challenges recordings etc how i want to basically handle it so uh, yeah, feel free to come with uh, with your suggestions on that. Uh, well, on that side, and we'll see what I figure out here. But anyways, as I said, the goal here is to vassalize the electors, and out of the electors, we have a fair amount of them I can actually try and vassalize. We have Frankfurt here, which I'm actually going to march into right away. I'm actually marching to Frankfurt. It's just that the screen is awkward. Steiermark just fell, the capital of Austria, which basically means that I'm pretty sure I can just peace out Austria at this point. 
I can't. Wow. Alien War. I see, that's why. Uh, but basically, as I said, we'll be hunting the electors and hope we get them. I'll search is another one here. And again, uh, I don't expect anyone any bigger battles here. That will be a problem for me. So we'll just have to see how this goes. I'll take it one battle at a time and I'm pretty sure we will win most of them. So let's just see here what happens with this one. 120,000 versus 30. And I thought that was a white first, but that wasn't the case. They lost a quite a bit of troops here. But so we're we going to do from uh, basically attrition. Their tr combined troop count isn't really that high. I'm pretty sure Burgundy is begging to get out of it now. They are. But uh, basically everyone who doesn't get vassalized here are going to force to pay war operations. Because it's an achievement to have 10 countries to pay war operations to you at once. So... Uh, We'll be aiming for that, at the very least. We'll probably have Lunenburg, Magdeburg, basically everyone here who, well, could be paying to be paying. And I think in... Oh, we lost... Our king died. Uh, it was about time, though. Charles the Eleventh, uh, 234. Not the best, of course. 333 is our next one. Not the best there either, but he'll get the job done, I guess. And since we lost two stability points, we can assume that our king died during a, uh, a battle sadly but uh, not really too much we can do about that now anyways for the time being we will go back to uh, to sieging uh, the, the troops that aren't actually in use I will start to pull back so they don't actually cause any more extra war exhaustion and with that we will basically just sit back here and see what happens gallery is also part of this war so I could just get rid of them but they're part of a whole Roman empire they're a small prince so I might just keep them around for that purpose alone. But uh, anyways, as said, we're just going to continue this war and we'll see how things pan out. With the Siege of Elsars over, I'm pretty sure we can potentially vassalize Elsars here, the Elector, French vassal. We can. So let's just do that and see what happens in terms of Electorship. Uh, Elsars is very pissed with this here, so they don't really want to elect us, of course. But... Uh, I think we just will have to improve relations with them then to the point where they might actually want to. I have a full house. Boom. Achievement uh, completed. Now the funny thing is it will take me about a hundred years to get positive relations with our Sarge, so <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned here. I don't think we want to do anything in games in terms of the whole Roman Empire, uh, but there is an achievement to our 21 vassals or 21 subjects, so uh, how can we do that? Well the simple choice is basically to conquer the Americas create the uh, the colonial subjects, if you will, have uh, let's see colonial regions, colonial La Plata, colonial Peru. Are we missing? And I'm pretty sure we're missing uh, something on the other side of too that we can uh, create as colonial nations. And I'm most pretty sure they changed it so they're actually colonial nations here too now. Yeah, we can create colonial Oceania as well, oh Australia, if you will. So, uh, I'm pretty sure we can go for that as well. Now, in the next one, I'm a little bit unsure what we want to wanna do. And I'm thinking that we probably should uh, actually just end the war here without actually taking anything. I'm very tempted to just do that. Because the fact is that I don't really need anything. So, the people who want to leave, we're going to just go for war operations. And... Frankfurt, if you want to leave, you can't leave just now. Galera, if you want to leave, pay war operations. And the Palinate, if you want to leave, pay war operations. There we go, we've gotten some of them out. Now, in terms of war operations, I'm getting, I currently have five countries, as you can see here. Uh, 39 is when Lorraine passes out, otherwise it's 45 and 48. So I need five more countries to pay me war operations. Magdeburg will be one of them. Frankfurt will be another. Uh, and then we have Austria and Bavaria. So I need probably two more nations before the end of time. So I'm very tempted to just declare one Utrecht. Brandenburg, Trier, and the Hansa. So it would, it would give me what I need. And to be perfectly honest, I could just declare war as soon as we're done with Austria here. And that will, will be over before 45. So I can just do that. It will work 
perfectly in terms of, uh, again, getting what I want here. So we're going to do that. We're just going to keep the, se the seating going here, though, and uh, we'll see what we figure out in terms of, uh, well, forcing other nations to, to pay me for their continued existence. But uh, I'll sit back here and wait again, and we'll see how things turn out. We have basically sieged everything now to finish this set of wars, and with that we're going to force Magdeburg here to pay war operations, of course. Could also just go ahead and force religion, because it would be hilarious if one to do so. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the same thing with Frankfurt here. We're going to uh, war operations, of course. And then we'll just have to wait for these guys to, uh, to come back home. There we go. Next set up is Austria, who is going to pay war operations and also give up your deals with everyone, basically, as well as giving up those two. Oh, you want to actually give up those two. Well, that is fine. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm perfectly fine with them keeping everything but the Burgundy deal. The Burgundy isn't really a threat, but it's just a bit annoying. So, how about we force you to give up a bunch of your course instead? That is, sounds like a better plan, and of course we have the war reparations as well. So that is, uh, that's all good and all good in the neighborhood. Uh, we'll demand tribute here, of course, war reparations, and have you give up your deal with Burgundy. As well as nothing else really, so this should do the trick. Let's see now what we're doing in terms of uh, getting to the, uh, getting to the, uh, well, 10 of these. We have uh, three, six, and nine. We have nine of them, we're missing one. Uh, if we can get one before December next year, then we're done. So is there any tiny, tiny state somewhere we could just bully into paying us war operations? There is, it's good old little Russia that has uh, volunteered to pay us for its continued existence. Uh, but anyways, it's going to be interesting to see if we can actually get it done within a year. But if so, that would be hilarious. Um, let's not call in. Uh, let's not call in our ally. To be perfectly honest, there's no need. And I would tend to just annex Russia, just straight up. But uh, I think it's fine to well leave them alive for a little bit longer. Uh, in terms of what we're going to do after that, I'm a little bit unsure, but. There is an achievement to subsidize your allies, and I think we might as well just go for getting that one done. But uh, we'll have to see here what we end up with. For now, we are just going to continue, well, the Russian campaign, if you will. Russian into it. But uh, for now, let's just uh, wait here and see what happens with, uh, with Russia. We, as I said also here, in terms of colonial nations and having 21 different subjects. It's going to be possible, but it's going to be very harsh on my diplomatic, uh, well, it's going to strain my diplomatic ties and will probably be best done as Austria. But uh, we can do take benign diplomats here, improve relations plus 25%. We will also gain some diplomatic reputation on the uh, next one here to cancel out the Pope thing. Uh, but we should also take serfdom while we're at it. National manpower modifier plus 25% which basically means now that my manpower should go up quite a bit. Let's see, 438 to 497. We're halfway to a million. And I've got a fell, which is enough to make uh, war operations happen. Which gives us bleed them dry. We are done for today, I think. And we're going to continue with some more small achievements next time. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism. Anything you feel like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.